Okay, I am on the NAND to Tetris site, and I'm going to go down to Software. And I want to click on Download the NAND to Tetris Software Suite. And that's going to show up in my downloads down here. I will drag that to the desktop. And now I want to open up Terminal. To open up Terminal, I'm going to press Command Space to get the spotlight and then I will type in terminal and what you see on your screen is going to be different from what I have because I've made changes the only thing you need to worry about is the space where you type things in so to open up the hardware simulator just uh, open up your NAND to Tetris file go to tools hardware simulator dot sh so this is what we want. We want to drag that into the terminal and then we can, once that has shown up, we want to press return and it will open the, the hardware simulator. So now that the simulator is running to load a chip, we press the chip button navigate to the chip that we want to use projects 00, zero soar so now we have the soar chip loaded but uh, we want to make changes to this you can't make changes right here you have to open up the soar chip in a text file so i'm going to navigate to to that same file by projects 00, zero soar i'm going to right click i'm going to say open with I'm going to go to other and I want to open it up with text edit so I'm going to type in text edit scroll down find that application and open so now that we have that text file uh, the text file of that uh, dot HDL we can make changes so I'm just gonna put change right there I'm gonna save that using command s and so if we want to load the the modified version we need to reload it it's gonna load the the saved version so now you can see it says changed down here and just to change it back. I'm going to delete that. Uh, Command S to save. Over here, load. Reload that and now it's back to its normal, normal file.